Hello everyone, welcome back to Sims and Notches. Thank you so much for joining in. If this is your very first time, thank you so much. And if you are a returning subscriber, you are welcome. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification button, and leave your comment down below on what next you want to see on our channel. Without any further ado, let us get started. So these are the tools that we are going to be using today. I have got my Pattern Master. I have got my trace and wheel, I've got my pencil, paper scissors, fabric scissors, measuring tape, masking tape, if you've got cello tape that would do. I have got my case of pins, um, that is sewing pins, and I have got my pattern paper. So when it comes to pattern paper, you can do with any paper you've got as long as it does the job. You can get um, pieces of paper together and sellotape them all together, making it a very wide shape that is enough for your pattern and that will do. I have got my straight ruler. I've got a very long ruler. So if you've got a short ruler, that would do as well. If you've got everything, it's time to get started. Hi guys, we are ready to draft our pattern. So make sure you have your pattern paper that is wide enough for your pattern or your block. And for this um, tutorial, I am going to be using a straight ruler, a long straight ruler. So um, before we start our pattern drafting, what we need to know or what we need to bear in mind is that for this tutorial, I am going to be using centimeters and is um if you're used to inches you can convert that into inches if you want but just for the sake of simplicity we just want to stick with using centimeter and here in the uk we use centimeters anyways so feel free to convert that into inches if you're comfortable or if you're more comfortable with that method but what we are using um, like I said before, we are going to be using centimeters instead of inches, so bear that in mind. So the first measurement we need, we need um, to mark in points 0 to 1, and that measurement is our neck to waist measurement. For me, I am using the medium size, that is a size 12, UK size 12 measurement. So all the measurement I'm going to be using is from that size. Now feel free to use your own measurement and the the pattern cutting method is the same and it can apply to any size so feel free to use your own measurement so for my measurement the measurement between the neck to the waist is 41 centimeters so once you have that you're going to add one centimeter to that measurement and that will give us um, 42 centimeters so i am going to Get my straight ruler like i already have here and i'm going to measure 42 centimeters so with a straight line make sure your line is straight i'm going to draw a vertical line measuring 42 centimeters so at the starting point of my vertical line i'm going to mark that as point zero and this point i am going to mark that as point one next we need to mark in point two and for point two we need a body rise measurement and that is from point one we are going to measure downwards to point two and that measurement that we need is the measurement of our body rise so for mine it is 28 centimeters so i'm going to place my ruler make sure it's a straight line on point one and extend it by 28 centimeters and that is the measurement of my body rise so at the end of this point it's going to give me point two Um, now that we have that, we need to mark in point three. So for point three, we need our arm side depth measurement. So for that, 
mine is 21 centimeters and once you have your measurement for your arm side depth you're going to add 1.5 centimeters to that and for mine is 22.5 centimeters so i am going to mark 22.5 centimeters from point zero and i am going to mark that there that is 22.5 centimeters so i'm going to mark that as point three so the next measurement is point four in order for us to get point four we are going to measure the distance between point zero to point three and half of that measurement is what is going to give us point four so if you measure from point zero to three that will give us for my pattern is um, 22.5 and we are going to divide that by 2 and the answer will be 11.25 centimeters. So I am going to mark 11.25 centimeters starting from point zero. So I'm going to measure it downwards and that will be 11.25 which is around here and I'm going to call that point four next we need 0.5 so in order for us to get 0.5 we need one fifth of the distance between zero and four so once we measure the distance which is 11.25 we are going to divide that by five and whatever answer it gives us that is going to be our 0.5 so for mine is to one fifth of this measurement that's between zero and four one fifth of that measurement is um 2.25 that's for me so feel free to use your own calculation but i'm just going to write that on the screen in case you get it confused anywhere so you can always refer to that um which is on the screen so i'm going to mark in from point zero downwards and this point is going to be 0.5 So the next thing we need to do is to mark in point six, and point six is um, one sixth of our neck measurement. For mine, it is approximately six point two centimeters. So what you need for point um, six is one sixth of your neck measurement, and for mine is six point two centimeters. So I'm going to place my ruler on point zero. And I'm going to draw a horizontal line inwards. So it's going to just follow what I'm doing. So I'm going to mark inwards 6.2 centimeters. I'm just going to draw a straight line. And that will be 0.6. So for point seven, I am going to measure upwards 1.5 centimeters. So I'm going to get my ruler and measure 1.5 centimeters upwards, and that will give me point seven. That is point seven. Before we commence to point eight, we are first of all going to draw a curve line joining 0 0.7 to 0.0 so i'm going to get my pattern master and draw a curve line connecting both points like so now for point eight we need half back width measurement so get your back width measurement divide that by two and that's going to give you half back width measurement and for mine it is so for mine, um, the measurement for my half back width is 17.2 centimeters. And once you have that measurement, you're going to take away 0 0.5 centimeters from that measurement. And for mine, it's going to give me 16.7 centimeters. Again, I am going to refer all those measurements on the screen or going to put them on the screen so you can... Um, know what to do when it comes to getting your calculations so i'm going to take my um ruler and 
from point three, I am going to measure inwards um, 16.7 centimeters. So make sure you've got a straight line. Starting from here. And that is 16.7 centimeters. And that will be 0.8. So before we get to point nine, I am going to square um, a line, square out um, the measurement between three um, to eight, which is 16.7 centimeters. I'm going to use that same measurement to square out this line from point four, square that out, and from point five, the same measurement as well. So I am going to get my ruler again. So once you've connected all the lines together using a vertical line, we are going to mark this as point, point eight, point nine, and point. So now we have point eight, nine, and ten. Now that we have eight nine and ten we are going to measure from point ten um inwards we are going to measure one centimeter That will give us 11, it's a bit closer to each other. So that is 11, is a bit close. So we are going to join point seven to point 11. Like so. So for point 12, we need a quarter of our bust measurement. Mine is 88 centimeters, and a quarter of that measurement is 22 centimeters. So once we have a quarter of our bust measurement, we are going to take away or minus 1.5 centimeters from that measurement, and mine is going to get me 20. 0.5 centimeters so i am going to place my ruler from point three i'm going to draw a horizontal line from point three measuring 20.5 centimeters And this point is point 12. For point 13, for point 13, we are going to measure that same measurement, 20.5 centimeters from point one, that would give us point 13. Then from point two, and measure from point one, 20.5. This is point 13 from two. We're going to measure point 14. So that's 20.5 again, like we did previously. And that would give us point 14. So we're going to join point 12, 13 and 14. So before we get to point 15, we are going to join point 11, point 9, and point 12. And that will give us the arm side um, shape or the armhole shape. We're just going to get our pattern master to give us that curve. So first of all, join 11 to 9. 
and join 12 to 9.